So what have we seen in 200 days of Donald Trump? Well, what we've seen is that elections matter. <laughs> because Amen. I'll, I'll, say, I'll, say, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll say this, you know, for all the things that we, you know, and, and I think it's kind of a coping mechanism that we, you know, try to, you know, in, in some of these circles, try to poke fun at it. Look, he's already had a Supreme Court justice who, you know, for a, a generation, we're going to have to live with the consequences of, frankly. Um, now, institutions have hold, held up. You know, you look at, um, you know, what the courts have done to push back on his travel ban. You look at, um, you know, how institutions push, push back on um, some of the things that he's tried to do with the executive branch in, tr in terms of overreach. Um, you look at even what the Senate, the Republicans in the Senate have done to push back on Trump care. The institutions have held. Mm -hmm. So that's the good news. But um, the bad news is that there are still going to be lasting impacts of the Trump presidency that, you know, from from a progressive point of view, from a progressive perspective, you're really not going to be able to just wipe away with the next election. Well, particularly, uh, I think, in two areas. Uh, one is the Environmental Protection Agency yeah. under Scott Pruitt. I mean, who is systematically rolling back everything all, any progress in any area that uh, was made under President, uh, President Obama. Uh, the New York Times lead story this morning is about uh, Donald Trump um, opening up federal lands in the West to coal mining, right? So these are not national parks yet, but these yeah. are federal lands yeah. where uh, President Obama said we ought to be protecting those lands, not allowing, particularly in coal mining. Uh, and now it's Katie. Uh, just open it up. And you look at who may have been the most successful members of administ administration so far. Jeff Sessions, right? He spent the last I was three say, weeks, he, and he's the second one. Jeff <laughs> beating, Sessions beating him up. But I mean, the the leak investigation. I mean, a, a real threat to journalists. Um, already, some of the things that we've seen in terms of pushing back affirmative action. Um, you know, from the from the federal standpoint, um, policing standards, um, making it easier for um, you know abuses. Um, from police, we know there are tons of fantastic, wonderful police, but we know there are problems in the system that we've got to address. He's already kind of reversed some of the Obama era reforms that Obama put in place, though. So. Even going into some cities which had adopted new police community relations uh, uh, policies and uh, and said, no, 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 we're not going to. And we know what this is. This is messaging too, right? Whenever Donald Trump gets in trouble, he does two things: he takes a shot at President Obama and he takes a shot at Hillary Clinton. Because he knows that's a this is this is the first president that I can remember um, that has a complete base strategy. It's all about his very very narrow base. There's about thirty to thirty five percent of the population where everything he does is to hold that base. There's no expansion. There's no desire to reach out for independents or to reach out for uh, moderate Democrats. It's all about protecting his base and strengthening his base. And I think that's really because he feels the squeeze on Russia. And he knows that he's going to need that base to get through that if he has any chance to survive. 